I'm gonna get fired. There's nobody buying bikes. Hello, please don't tell me you're firing me. No, you're not fired, but this is bad. We need to stop production. Whoa, before we stop, what if, I don't know, what if demand goes up in a couple months and like things lighten up? That's not gonna happen. Just do your job, do what I say, trust me, shut down production. Fine. I'll shut down manufacturing. We need to order more. They're buying everything. Uh, okay, I'll do the best I can. Manufacturing is tough right now though. Everyone's putting in orders. Just order now. We didn't see this coming. Everybody wants them if only we knew earlier. I think I mentioned this could have happened, but they can't produce what we need. Just order more bikes. Well, what if we order too much? That could make things even worse. That won't happen. Order them. Dude, I know things are looking good, but I, I'm a little worried. I don't know if it can stay like this. I'm so rich right now. Mark the prices higher. People will keep buying them. We can just rake in all the dough. It's never gonna stop. But what if this doesn't hold? I mean, we can't keep selling this amount of bikes for this long. You said that last time, but look at the numbers. It's only going up, 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 baby. Fine, I'll order more, but I'm warning you, this is not gonna end well, and I don't wanna get fired for it. I'm sorry to say we are going to have to let you go. Times are just tough. No one saw this coming. What? No, you can't fire me. I do everything you say. I've warned you in every situation and you never listen to my advice. Yeah, but you couldn't forecast well enough and we're stuck with all the inventory. I don't know. Maybe we could just sell all the product we have right now. Super cheap. Call it early Black Friday. Try that. That's it. That's what we'll do. Early Black Friday. Nobody will see it coming. Nobody will know that we're in trouble and we got to sell all this stuff. I mean, they'll probably know. I'm guessing everybody's going to end up doing that. But I mean, since it's a good idea, can I keep my job? No, you're still fired. Hey everyone, Josh again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider, and things are getting pretty wild in the bike industry. I've noticed in so many different ways, and I have a feeling you may not even realize what's going on, but this could mark the closure of more bike companies, even better sales and deals for us as consumers, and most importantly, it could mean that there's big changes coming to the used bike market, our local bike shop, and so many other things. So let's talk about it. Let's jump into the internet. Let's start very high level at why we have a problem in the cycling industry right now that I'm sure you've noticed. And I think a great place to look is Shimano. They are one of the biggest component manufacturers and they're seeing that sales are down 25% in the first three quarters of 2023. And when you look right here at this handy dandy graph, You'll look at sales were pretty consistent. Q2 of 2019 went down, quarter three went up. Of course, Q4, that's the quarter we're in right now. And then they went down for COVID. And then you can see the huge demand that went way sky high as a bunch of people got into biking and cycling. And during this time, companies saw huge demand. So they made a ton of product until something happened. The first quarter of this year, sales went down dramatically. Then they went up again and they went down for Q3, which is pretty common at times. But then when you connect over and look, the sales for this year, Q3, match or are on track with where you would expect sales to be from 2019. The problem is with so much demand, there is a ton of product left on shelves in manufacturers, warehouses, in your local bike shop and they can't sell them. And this means huge problems ahead. Now, Shimano's not alone. I mean, if we look at Fox Factory, they are saying that company-wide, sales are down 19% in this quarter from last year. But here's what's most startling. If you look at their specialty sports group, so this includes Fox Factory, Marzocchi, Easton Cycling, and Raceface, all companies that we know about as mountain bikers or cyclists, they are down 58% from last year. Sales are down 58%. Think about how that impacts employees. Think about how that impacts new manufacturing. Think about how much old stock they have and what they're gonna do to get the prices down. And look at that, when we jump over to their website, they have suspension up to 60% off. In fact, right now, you can get a Fox 34 factory for $630. Or you can get a 38 for 800, a 36 for 700. It's wild, the prices that we're seeing. But you can't see this just as a positive. I mean, we see that nuke-proof Vitus chain reaction cycles and wiggle. A lot of these companies that we know that make good bikes and products are looking like they're gonna shut their doors. Riders who were sponsored are no longer sponsored. And really, this is coming after sales are so far down and big investors are just pulling all of their funds and letting companies die. And the way I saw this was not by checking Bicycle Realtor News or snooping around behind the scenes. It really came from seeing companies that I know really well that have continually had huge discounts and huge deals on stuff that they never discount. 
Evo Bikes is in my neck of the woods and I've noticed for months now that they have been selling their bikes upwards of 30% off. Something that I used to own an Evo offering, really a rad bike, but if I click a medium GX build, you're gonna see normally $7,000. Very boutique, ton of money, but they're selling this at a savings of $1,400. This is unprecedented and it's not Black Friday. And all these sales, you're gonna say, it's just the holiday season, it's Black Friday. It hasn't been. And mark my words, come January or February or spring when the season kicks off, these deals are still going to be there. But it's not just evil. Transition is doing the same thing. This is their Sentinel, which is another great bike, even their Spire, their newer bike. All of these, you can find discounts upwards of $1,600, which means a used version of this posted on Pinkbike or Facebook Marketplace, people are listing used bikes more expensive than new ones. Santa Cruz, same thing. YT, same thing. Specialized, they have not lowered their prices. You can still get a status 160 frame for 850 bucks or with the older suspension for 750. My Stump Jumper Evo, which is right over here. It's an aluminum version. You can get a frame for $1,300, down from $2,100. These companies have so much inventory. Even companies like Pit Viper, they're gonna tell you, hey, we're running this once in a lifetime deal because we love our customers. You can get Pit Vipers for 42% off. No, it's 36% off today. It'll be another 35 tomorrow because these marketing geniuses are like, how do we get rid of this? Let's just make Black Friday six weeks earlier than we've ever done it before and tell people we love them. And really what they're saying is they're desperate to get rid of their inventory. All right, let's get out of the internet now. Now here's the real question. Why am I telling you all this? Am I trying to get you to just go and buy bikes right now? Well, no, but some people might be interested and you can find good deals. But I really think this means that there are more turbulent waters ahead. You see, here's what it means for companies. Number one, layoffs are gonna start and innovation is going to go down. If they can't sell their existing products because they have a bunch of money tied up into it, they start to scramble. Second thing is the innovation part. If a company that makes a dropper post comes out with a new crazy great invention, but they have a huge inventory that they have to sell off, do you think they're gonna introduce a new product and make the old product obsolete? No, they'll probably change the color, run more sales, try to sell through all that, and then show off their new technology in order to drive more business later on. Which means we as the consumer are sitting around waiting, hoping somebody's gonna buy this stuff. And thirdly, it means that companies will just shut the door. If they can't make ends meet, that's usually what they end up doing. And then for us as a consumer, what it means is local bike shops having to let people go, reduce staff, reduce hours, stop being able to hire mechanics. And I've already seen that locally here in Bellingham. We have a lot of local shops, but I would say if you can, if you see any deal online or you know you wanna buy something for the holiday season, go hit up your local bike shop, see if they're able to match any of these prices. They might not be able to, but realize these are human beings that help us in need. And so we should do our part to try to help them. Of course, my local shop is the Lasco. You can click the link below. They're everyone's local bike shop online. Um, and I would encourage you to help them out. And lastly, I think we're just gonna keep seeing, like I said, these deals, so to speak, but really more companies are gonna be honest and say, hey, we got a little greedy. We thought demand was never gonna go back down again. And what we actually are seeing is demand this year is probably what they predicted four years ago if there wasn't a global pandemic. And unfortunately, with the roller coaster up, there is also the downfall. So I'll keep you updated on all the things going on here. See if you can do your part to help out the industry in general and your local bike shop. And whatever you do, don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about the bike industry here in his garage. But get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.